I think starting with the integral is actually easier. Uh, so let's first start out with finding delta x. Now remember before we um, talked about how um, we would do uh, the upper bound minus lower bound. So we have 3 minus negative 2. And then you would divide that by the number of rectangles. Now in our case, we're going to take the number of rectangles to infinity. So just write n and then you'll be done. So it's 5 over n. So that's going to be our delta x right now. Next, uh, the f of x. What is the f of x form? Like, what is the formula that we're finding the area uh, under? under? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. What is the function that we're finding the area under? And in this case, it's always going to be what's inside the integral, okay, the, the integrand. So it'll be x plus 1. So now we have our function. We have our delta x. <clears throat> now we just need to find x sub i. <clears throat> what is x sub i? x sub i is what we are plugging into the function for the summation notation. So it would be a um, plus uh, delta x, which is uh, 5 over n uh, times i. Now, uh, the a in our case is going to be the first, the lower bound. So we're going to say negative 2. Um, and that's what's uh, getting plugged into the f of x. So that would mean, well, I don't know, I wrote it over here, but that would mean x sub i would equal negative 2 plus 5 over n uh, times i. And I want to throw the i up there with the 5. So, um, oh, and add 1, sorry, plus 1, because that's the x. This is the x that we're plugging into the function. All right, now um, I could add the 1 to the negative 2, so I'll get a negative 1. And actually, let's put the, the negative inside the function so we don't have to write a plus sign. So minus 1. And um, there you have it. So this would be um, the function. That would be the height. And then here is your delta x. Remember, what we're doing is we're doing height times base. And the height is going to be the function, uh, uh, which is f of x sub i. That gives you the height. And uh, then delta x. So you've got to multiply um, those two together to get the, the, the area of each rectangle. Okay, so um, we got, let's, let's write it out nice. So we have 5i divided by n minus 1, and that's multiplying by 5 over n. All right, do we have anything like that? I see 5 over n, uh, this guy on all of them, and I see 5i divided by n minus 1, and this one, and that's it. Well, actually, this one, no, that this one wouldn't work because if we do find common denominators, then it would be 5i minus n over n. Uh, so it wouldn't be that one. So it looks like our answer is A.